the Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson, Arindam Bhakti, highlighted a critical issue at the core of India's relationship with Canada. He expressed concerns about the safe heaven that terrorists and criminal elements have seemingly found in Canada. India's retail inflation eased from 6.83% in August to 5.02% in September, with food prices easing from almost 10% to 6.6%. India ranks 111 out of a total of 125 countries in the Global Hunger Index 2023 with its progress against hunger nearly halted since 2015, reflecting a global trend. The Defence Acquisition Council, DAC, chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh expected to meet on 29 October, or 30 will consider defence acquisition proposals from the Navy and the Air Force, cumulatively cost over 1 lakh rupees crore, expected to meet at the end of this month. A seven-judge bench of the Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur will take a call on a request from petitioners to give priority to a reference concerning the manner in which the centre got crucial amendments passed in Parliament as money bills. India's industrial output surged at a 14-month high pace of 10.3% in August, from a revised 6% rise in July aided by favourable base effects from last year when production levels had contracted 0.7% and the best manufacturing performance since this April. India reiterates support for Palestinian statehood. India's Ministry of External Affairs restates its support for the establishment of a sovereign Palestinian state, emphasising the obligation to uphold humanitarian principles. PM rejects demand for a nationwide caste census following Bihar's caste survey revealing EBC and OBC numbers.